Hey guys, welcome back. Wolfish here. Gonna be continuing with the uh, Devil in Me. Uh, last time we stopped in the library, just trying to get to the balcony. I'm really hoping to uh, to get more action. Cause so far, the game is fun. Don't get me wrong, but feels like there's a bit, maybe too much talking. Okay, which way was it? I think I need to put it here. Yeah, just in the middle so I could jump. Come on. It's not rocket science. Uh-huh. There we go. Hopefully that sorts that. Yes, nice one. It's kind of a long way to the balcony. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. Okay, it works. So if I climb down. What was the point of it, though? Ah, right. Okay. Makes sense, so I can just put it back to jump over... Over there? Yep. Okay. Simple enough. Jump. Let's see what do we have here. Just gonna grab the key and unlock the door to the balcony. Wonder if there is gonna be a jump scare. The key was here somewhere. Or is it is it a different room? Okay. You can do this. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Can, I, can we exit through here though? Because I don't really want to go all the way up. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and she's just standing there. Mm -hmm. Okay. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. 
You look amazing as usual. Cringe. Oh, there we go. The ring of that murdered couple. Possessions belonging to the victims of uh, in 1896. Yeah. That girl's ring and the necklace. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Are you allowed to touch that though? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I just, this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> That's a good one. Someone's really obsessed well, with mannequins in this game. Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be on civil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain. Just gonna be a nice Did you guy. See his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes. 40 something still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show. Oh, don't worry. He already got his big break. That was the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. <laughs> doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lawn at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Huh? A stunning performance. You should give up news and be that was a bit weird. Like, uh, just a sudden cut. i quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what portrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future. The guy the guy is just mad that he didn't get his cigarettes. He's still looking for for those, I guess. And now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Sexy. Hey guys. Uh oh, someone is mad. Awkward. 
think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour more. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I Wishful thinking. Your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He ran away. He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Definitely not sus, I wonder why. I'm sure he has good I'm reasons. Sure he has his reasons. <laughs> Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you! Lower your voices. Why? He's not here! But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know... So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. <sighs> oh, God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Come on, don't be so negative. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Poor guy. Everyone's blaming the boss. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? I, I'm not sure, but I think in previous parts of uh, Dark Pictures, the characters felt like they were more alive. Like, I mean, this is an ultra graphics, but just like the reactions and the emotions of the characters they feel like a bit plasticky especially like the eyes you know like it was uh, back back in the old days with the old games thank you all for your hard work cheers cheers to us mazel tov what we can get here can take the show to the next level sure yeah, of course sure because 
Yeah, Literally, you're gonna, you're like gambling with your own lives. Yeah, he totally hurt us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he hurt us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. It's already creepy. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things will begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Which won't happen. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. No mistakes. What do you mean? You've already made one by coming here. Great. Great. And our animat animatronic gonna be serving them or Ah so he's like which is pretty obvious he's like using mannequins to make copies of his victims. I don't need to explain this, it's like I'm I'm just like saying I just realized. Ghosts or a hidden room. Kind of hard to tell where the sun is coming from. Ah, there is the book. The one that they uh, throw out of the room. Breathing techniques for emergency. Or just put your headphones on. the doors are locked. Am I looking for a secret room or...?
That looked painful. There's more pictures. But I can't expect inspect all of them. This room has a different color. Oh. Make sure they fill my prime box. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Where was the sound coming from? I swear I thought I saw something just now. Huh. Hold on. I thought I came from... Am I hearing pieces from from the past or Oops Feels like we're in a um, haunted house. That's creepy. What is that? <laughs> I don't know why why it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't even get scared, it's just like <laughs> a bit random. Huh? Breakers. So the doors have automatic locks or what was the sound? Oh. So I need to follow the red wire to see. Hello? Mr. Demet? Uh-huh. I guess not. It goes goes in the ceiling Might be time to join the 21st century guys
a will of some sort. Okay. Any other clues in this room? Apparently not. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a dog about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. Oh, wait. This is the same room. Nice. So I just unlocked the door. Such a nice place uh, for a serial killer to be. A replacement crew. What happened to the to the original one? Cost assessment. Huh. Gee, I wonder what happened to the original crew. Don't need to be a genius to figure that out. Enjoy your memorial, dude. <laughs> Just inspect every single shelf. Wow, that's expensive for a renovation. I wonder if that's expensive, you know, for that kind of renovation, creating like trap rooms and stuff like that. And now it's a precord. Oh, I thought it was me who double clicked, double pressed, or whatever. How about I check this room first? Maybe there is something useful in here? Hmm. Or not really? Ah, wait. Never mind. Been here, done that. Wait, hold on. Huh. Okay. Thought there were new... Thought the, the list had, like, new people in it, but... Huh. Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script.
Are you sure that's her though? Vintage postcard, 1992. Thank you for choosing Twilight Prayer as the residence for your mother. Lucinda is already setting in very well. We encourage visitors as often as possible to look forward to uh, seeing um, to seeing you again soon. Okay. Now then, where should I go? Should I go to the private area? Oh, hold on. Well, since there is no power, nothing's gonna happen. I suppose need to go upstairs because we've seen the wires coming there, going there. Zero one eight zero. Uh huh. Got 13 points. I wonder at what point I'll be able to ask for uh, for a tip. Okay, I did this circle. Probably go to the private room then. Unless I came from here, I'm so bad when it comes to memorizing the rooms and everything. Did I come from here? Yeah, definitely. Okay then. Already checked the journal. Does that mean I should go back? Or did I miss something? Yeah, I've seen this. Zero one eight zero. No, no, God damn it. 
one more time zero one eight zero oops my mem my memory is not as good as I thought uh Just go through this room. Ooh, what does this button do? Nah, not gonna risk it. Gonna go find the password first. Yeah. 0180. I guess I was right all along. One more time. Zero. One. Unless I need to press that button first to make it work. Now, where was it? So, right here somewhere. Uh huh. Yoink. The breakers. <laughs> 